Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we are in the main bay today. We'll be headed outside shortly to go work on the ZR2. Yes, we do have another ZR2 video. And what we're installing today is an optional speaker system that you could have bought with the GMCs. I don't think the Chevrolets ever came with them, but they should be cross compatible because like I said, that is the same truck. And what this system is, it's basically a speaker and light system for the step down tailgate. So not only do you have the sound system from Kicker, but you also got a set of additional lights to help out at night when it's dark out. There's some LED lights that will actually go into the back of the tailgate. So to show you the sound system, it's gonna be part number 19417163. The price for this, guys, I've seen it go anywhere from like 500 to $700, depending on what kit, where you find it, how much you buy it for. I found this kit brand new in box on eBay. I think it was 550 shipped. And I mean, it's a pretty smoking deal. I saw a lot of dealerships selling it for like 750. So, you know, it just kind of depends where you get it, but let's go ahead, get this thing open up. So this is the box as it, as it comes from General Motors. Get rid of your shipping plastic. And uh, yeah, this is basically gonna be the tailgate replacement part. You guys can see there's your audio controls from Kicker. There's your USB. I want to say it's USB input and that's a speaker, probably a small speaker cable. And uh, this will actually replace the back panel that's on the back of your tailgate. And as you guys can see, there are slots for LEDs. You can actually buy a separate LED kit that will replace parts on the back of your tailgate that actually comes with the housing. So. It's like they use the one housing for this project, but you're not going to end up using that housing because it's already molded into the speaker setup. So kind of a weird setup. So if you guys just want to install some LED lights in the back, you can do that. Or if you want to go to the next level, you can go ahead and install the kicker sound system as well. That's the main component of today's project. And the rest, I think it's just going to be instructions as well as your amp. Let me go ahead and get this opened up. This is going to be the kicker waterproof amp and uh, the wiring. All right, guys, so here are all of the components that are in that box. There are some plugs for those lights. I guess if you didn't buy that kit, you don't need to install that. But like I said, I already bought the LED insert, so we'll use that. There's some mounting hardware down here. There's some zip ties. There's some foam strips that I believe we're going to put on the back of that panel. I'll need to double check that. Here's the little waterproof amplifier that I was telling you about that goes inside the tailgate. Here's a bracket that actually connects to the handle in the back and you basically bolt your amplifier to that. And then there's the wiring, guys. This is gonna be pretty simple. You got one connector that goes to the amplifier itself. That's kind of this, I don't know, it's probably a 16 pin connector. There's a four pin connector that's gonna eventually plug into here. That will plug into right there, I believe. And then you've got your four wires right here. One, two, three, four. Those are your speaker wires. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is the wire that will connect into that other harness. So this will give you your power and everything for the amp. And that wire actually kind of plugs into this trailer harness adapter, which is basically what this is. We're going to unplug the trailer harness, plug this in. That's where you get power for that. That feeds power to this harness. This harness will plug into your amp. That amp will provide power to the speakers. So yeah, I mean, pretty simple. It's just, we kind of got to tear some stuff apart to get into it. I kind of wish they had printed instructions, of course, but they don't. So I'm gonna have to download the instructions via the QR code. And uh, you know, so that's kind of stupid. I, I, I wish companies would just spend the three cents it's gonna cost them to print four pieces of paper and uh, go from there. All right guys, so here's the step like I was telling you, and here's those those plastic panels that we'll pull out. That's actually where the speaker setup's gonna go. We're basically gonna go ahead and get started on this by removing the T30 bolts as well as the 10 millimeter, I believe these are 10 millimeter bolts holding the step as well as this black plastic piece off. We'll take this off, we'll throw it in the bed, we'll take the step off push it forward and that's going to give us room to get in here plastic panel you guys could clearly see that's in the bed that's those are actually t20 fittings they're not t30 torque screws i don't know why the instructions said that so those are t20 there are those six screws holding basically it's just the brackets for the step 
pick up the step and rotate it forward because normally like I said this goes backwards so I rotate it forward get it out of your way and then I did put some painters protective tape on this corner here and I popped up this little plastic shield so we're gonna remove all four of these plastic shields basically where the controller as well as the speaker is gonna get so like I said I'll pull the rest of these plastic panels up and we should be ready for the wiring as well as the mounting bracket for the amp that needs to go inside the tailgate now here are those led parts that i was telling you about earlier if you guys were installing this kit gm sells it as an accessory and it is plug and play you guys would take this kit you would pop out whatever two lights you want to get, use i think you'd want them in the center you'd pop that out use the provided gm wiring we actually will still use this gm wiring harness then you go back under here and you unplug something all right, the next step is basically going to be to pop all of the wire harness connectors that you guys can see. So this one here, there's one here. I think this one, there might be one in the middle. Yeah, there is one in the middle. So there's four connectors in here. And we also need to remove this 10 millimeter bolt here and this 10 millimeter bolt here. We're going to have to loosen those because I believe we're going to swap the bracket to go up underneath that and then we'll put the amp something like that i'm pretty sure that's how that works and uh so yeah we basically need to slide this handle underneath that the mounting hardware for the tailgate handle all right so you can see we got all the wire harnesses popped off the one thing i'm not sure is there's one connector right here in the middle i'm not sure if you guys can see that but I don't know if I need to pop that one off. I may or may not. The instructions, the PDF that I downloaded isn't exactly clear, but you guys can also see I did get the hardware loose for the tailgate handle. So the next step is actually to install these provided J or U clips, whatever you want, U nuts, whatever you want to call these. You're basically going to install these in those slots that you just pulled out. So there's one here and there's gonna be one to at the top over here. All right, so we got the new hardware in there, those J-clips, or U-clips, whatever you want to call that. That's installed. I did pull out another one of these harnesses, the, the one that's in the middle closest to the left, the driver's side. Did pull that one out. The passenger side here, I'm just not sure, because basically what we're doing now is sliding in the bracket for the amp. All right, guys, you can see that I got the bracket for the amplifier installed. And basically what you're gonna do is, you guys can see this wire right here, and there's also gonna be one right here. Actually, that's kind of a better view. What you're gonna do is, you're basically gonna take the mounting clip, There's they got those little Christmas tree things. There's actually a, the same slot that was on the tailgate itself, is actually now in that bracket. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that white connector, you're gonna push that one into the right, then you're gonna take the gray connector, and you're gonna push that one to the one on the left. So there's a slot that was, like I said, in the tailgate, you're basically moving that harness up to this bracket and you're just putting that Christmas tree mount right back where it was. Now it's on the bracket instead of being on the tailgate. And the other thing you wanna make sure, you wanna make sure that you don't pinch any wires in here. You know, you guys know that we put those clips in. I'm about to put the screws in right here. These are just more 10 millimeter screws. And that will secure the bottom of the bracket to the tailgate. Then we'll tighten down the tailgate handle bolts itself, and I think we should be good. I don't think there's anything else that we're going to have to really worry about here. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and then the two things that you just disconnected, this white connector on the right, the gray connector over here on the left, we'll plug those in. All right, guys, we got the amp installed. You guys will see there are four screws that we had to screw in. I'll be honest, guys, I had to use a Milwaukee drill with a screw attachment on there for some reason they didn't decide to thread that bracket so unfortunately you had to kind of press hard down with the uh, screw and you're able to get that all installed so yeah so the everything's plugged back in this white sensor like we said earlier that's plugged back in this gray sensor up here is plugged that's plugged back in the amplifiers in and now we're actually ready to start running wires for the I think it's a 16 pin connector here and then this connector here as well as the tilt switch because this is basically right here that's what's going to turn on and off the uh, speakers all right guys now it's wiring time you guys can see i've kind of ran some wiring i haven't ran some wiring but 
basically you guys will see this sheath wrapped harness this is actually the speaker harness that's from kicker that's going to go to your driver's side speakers over here you've got another set of wires that I, you basically run it along where the factory cabling is inside we're going to zip tie this because they did provide you a bunch of zip ties but what's important to know this harness the 16 pin harness you connect into the amplifier there's one wire that connects to the tilt switch this sensor right here so that's a, a white plug you plug that in and then under here there is a stereo headphone jack we're going to use that later i believe that's what plugs into the usb uh, stereo headphone setup uh, on the actual panel itself and then you run another wire this is eventually going to run down through the tailgate actually through here there's that plastic cover we told you about earlier Gonna run that down through there and there is another set of speaker wires somewhere over here oh they're actually here i think i need to put this into the fourth bin because i think they're on the outside and then the other thing you need to know right here you guys can see i just connected a power source on top of the tailgate handle and this is actually going to be to trigger power for our led lights and this is where the harness from General Motors comes in. You guys can see this is a little bit of a splice. One's going to plug into the truck. One's going to plug into the sensor on there. So I got to get that on there. And then these two, the ends of this, will both connect to the LED lights themselves. So kind of a little bit jumbled wiring, but it's not too complicated to be honest. Plug that 16 pin sensor in, plug in your tilt sensor, run your wiring to the speakers, run your wire for the power supply, and that's pretty much it for the amp. And then the LED lights, like I said, we unplugged that one connector up here. We'll plug that into here, and then we'll plug these two lights into that harness. All right, guys, you can see that we did fold down the tailgate. Guys, make sure you're careful with this bottom step because it can swing. You don't want it to hit your paint. You don't want it to hit your bumper or any of that. So you guys can see we've got a speaker source, LED source, LED source, and another speaker source. So we've got all the wiring ran through there. Then you guys really won't be able to see, but we did also run the cabling for the power source through the tailgate. I ran it up. I actually need to zip tie it a couple here spots. Up through the tailgate, through this plastic cap. This comes off and uh then i ran it up through the tailgate you guys can see the zip ties here through the tailgate and underneath then you guys can see that this there's an extra wire down here that's your power supply wire all right guys not super complicated here but basically like i said i unplugged the factory trailer harness plugged it into the adapter you guys can see the kind of the jumper cable here and then you basically plug in your power cord. This is what goes up to the tailgate. And this has a little uh, fuse in it. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Because you're going to run. You know, we now have power out to the speakers and all that. So I think we just got to... I'm going to use some zip ties and kind of get this stuff up out of the way. Because basically the full size spare on the ZR2 is really huge. And it's actually almost running into the trailer light harness. So I'm going to zip tie some of this stuff up out of the way. But yeah, I mean, we had plenty of length with the power cord going through the tailgate. And, you know, both halves, the top and the bottom of the tailgate. We had no issue with that. And I actually have it probably, <laughs> you know, I'm a foot to the left of the middle part of the tailgate where this comes through. So, I mean, like I said, there's plenty of wire here. I will clean this up with some zip ties and just get everything off of the tire. Because basically, if I ever have to use this full-size spare, I don't want this wire harness to hook on the bottom of it and it pull down with it. We got our foam down. There's some instructions in the PDF file that you downloaded how to put that on. So we'll flip this over, put it in. I'm not going to hook up any of the connections just yet because we still need to drill out. There's two holes here and two holes here, so four total. Need to drill those out. All right, guys, here's the basic gist of what this is going to look like. Yes, I know there's holes in it. I haven't swapped over the LED lights yet, and uh, I know nothing is plugged in, kind of like we just said. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're almost there. What we got to do now is actually secure 
The center of these and drill four holes into the tailgate. I already knew about that, not a bigger deal. And I actually have some touch up paint that we will put on those screw holes before we tighten that down. So I need to go get a eighth inch drill, drill these four holes. What I'm gonna do is then grab a vacuum cleaner and try to vacuum out any of the stuff that we get into the truck bed itself. All right, guys, you can see we just drilled four holes into my brand new truck and uh, kind of scary, but you know, we're done. You guys will notice that I did put the step back down in its original position. The hinges are actually below the speaker right here. So you got to slide the hinges below the speaker panel. Then you're going to tighten down the four holes that we drilled out, as well as the six holes that was provided, you know, with the hardware that was provided. Now there are some Torx T30 bits. That's what we're going to be using. We will use that to secure the panel down. I believe the, this hardware, this T30, is actually a little bit longer than what's factory because now you've got a solid, oh, I don't know, a quarter inch of plastic that wasn't there before. So we'll get all of the T30s torqued down and then the last bit of hardware, which is going to be these fine thread screws, those will go into the holes that we drilled out. So. All right guys, you can pretty much see that we have the install fully done. I am missing one screw. I'm gonna have to find that, but I do have everything else plugged in. You will see the kicker logo is glowing. It's a blue LED. And how I ended up pairing it was hitting the power button until the Bluetooth was glowing. Then if you hit the play pause button down until this starts blinking rapidly, go into your phone and then you can hit pair and it will it'll come up as kicker. So. Guys, to prevent any copyright music, I actually have one of my old videos. Uh, it's actually one of the last videos I did is the Moroso coolant tank. I have this paired up and I just kinda wanna show you the audio quality. And yeah, so you've got my video. You got the hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you there guys can see, we are in the main bay right now, but we'll be working on the Corvette very shortly. What we're working on is actually the supercharger cooling system. We got a couple upgrades to put on the car, and so let's go ahead and show you what we got. So yeah, there you go. I just wanted to show you that we do have Bluetooth connectivity with your phone. It's I have got it connected to YouTube. You can't connect this to your MP3 player, but obviously guys with YouTube and copyright strikes and audio, I'm not gonna play any music um, just because I don't wanna risk it. And I saw another guy doing a demonstration. He had like, blank out half the stuff he was saying so quick youtube demonstration of my own video i don't think i can get a copyright strike for my own video but hey you never know <laughs> so but yeah so yeah i did want to show that the speakers do work guys i think i forgot to plug the lights in i was just watching the other video and the guy forgot to turn the lights on i think i forgot to plug them in i know i plugged the speakers in because obviously they work we showed you but the led lights aren't working I know I plugged everything in on the harness side of it, you know, the, the handle side, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if I plugged the lights in themselves. Just as I suspected, I did not plug the lights in. So let's get these plugged in and we will officially be done. All right guys, we are finally done here. And yes, the lights do work. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this tailgate project on the Silverado ZR2. Overall, pretty simple install, like I said, I think the only thing I had to do was drill four small holes into the tailgate. You know, not a big ordeal there. Had drill bits I already used and I had a vacuum that I already used that I already had. So I didn't really have to buy any special tools. Everything pretty much was plug and play. Um, they even gave you extra zip ties. I didn't even use all of them. I used most of them, but you know, just zip tied all the harnesses up out of the way. So that's actually be a wrap on today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more ZR2 content, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. If you guys want to help support the channel, I'll try to drop some links down below. I did get the LED kit on Amazon. The speaker kit, like I said, I found on eBay. I might be able to find a link for that on Amazon. And uh, if not, I'll find all the part numbers and provide them down below. And also make sure you check out our website, bonecrusherss.com, because all your contributions there help go right into this truck, all of the projects, as well as everything else around the shop. Thanks, guys. Have a great one.